the common guinea fowl. I think one of the most underutilized birds in fly tying. You can make a lot of flies out of one cape like this. Granted, they're all wets or streamers, just a lot of soft feathers, but this cape, I've had this one for almost three years, and you can still get it today for $23 on Amazon. I'll link to it in the description. Now, if you wanted a top of the line bird, you could get a whiting guinea cape for $50 or $60, but this one, it's been just fine for me. So the pattern I'm gonna tie with this today, it's a matuka, and obviously called a guinea matuka, because, well, that's what it is. And I found it in Mike Dahl's Fly Tires Manual, a pretty decent book. If you don't have it, check it out. A lot of British patterns, because, well, he is from England. But this is not a hard tie, and if you don't have guinea, just use any hen feather. But one more note on a feather wing matuka, while it's not a hard tie, it can be a little bit challenging to get that wing to lay on top just perfect. So if you're a new tire and, and yours doesn't look perfect, don't worry about it, it'll still fish. The one you're about to see certainly isn't perfect, but it was a pretty fun tie and I think it'll work. So there it is in the vise, a guinea matuka. And I think it's just a pretty cool looking feather. These almost look holographic with those two back to back. And especially those dark and light, light spots, just kind of a cool bird. So I'm tying this on a size six. It's a three extra long barbless streamer hook. Black 140 denier thread. I'll lay a base down to the start of the bend here. Now let's take the thread back up front. We're gonna catch in our wire and a rib. So this is a, I think size brassy, silver wire. Just a couple wraps to catch that in. Now a mylar flat silver tinsel. That wire is really just to hold the wing on. This flat silver tinsel will give it a little bit more flash. Because overall it's a pretty dark fly. So let's go ahead and catch these in. You don't have to be perfect right here. Because we do have a pretty fuzzy body, but go ahead and wrap it to the back. Now we're gonna put a dark body in. You could use fur, dubbing, you could probably use a chenille too, but I've got a black yarn. I believe this is a, an acrylic. You can see this is full strength right here, but if you unravel it, you'll be able to split it into strands. And this one turned out to be a four strand, so here are two of the strands. I think four would be just a little too thick of a body, but you know, maybe not. Maybe I should have done a couple with half thickness and then a couple full thickness. So let's get that caught in, then just big open loose wraps going back right here. Now with your thread up front, just go ahead and wrap this up. You know, one wrap right in front of the other. I wouldn't spend a whole lot of uh, time getting this perfect. Now we're gonna wrap the flat tinsel first. So just get these separate here. There we go. And this one is a holographic. I don't think I mentioned that, but regular Mylar is, is fine. I just kind of like this. Seems to give it a little bit more flash. And put these as close together or as far apart as you'd like, just depending on how much flash you want on the body. Now for the fun part, just take a couple of guinea feathers. This is just from the, the shoulder. I'm gonna grab one from the right and the left. You can see they've got a pretty big natural curve to them. So I'll put the curved sides together and you'll wanna strip off the, the fuzz from the front or the, the thick part of the feather. Just get them pretty much lined up. There's two feathers right here. And I've stripped off the bottom almost all the way to the back, at least the length of the body right there. So that is, that's about where we're gonna tie it in. And what I will do, just put three loose wraps right here. We'll probably take those off after we get the wire wrapped through. But I like to take my bodkin and then, okay, we're gonna lay these down right here. Kind of pinch the feathers and the hook. Poke your bodkin through right where we want that first wrap to be. And then just kind of lift those feathers up. We create a little opening right there that we're gonna wrap this wire through. 
and you, it takes a little bit of coordination. You gotta be a little bit dexterous right here. Just be careful not to pull that feather too far back. And my goal here is to just keep it on top of the fly. So it doesn't have to be real tight, but kind of tight. Now when you bring it up on this side right here, and the wire is kind of stiff, so you can let go of the wire with one hand. It should stay about where it is. See, I'm gonna let go of it right there. It's kind of staying up. Now I'll poke my bodkin through, create another little opening right here, and we're probably gonna wrap this up maybe four, four times. Okay, so that's our second one. Go a little bit farther forward and then we'll do this two more times. Okay, now when we've got it caught in enough, that's enough wire wraps to really hold that feather on top. I'm gonna go ahead and back these off just because I don't necessarily need them. I'll put my last wrap right here and then we'll catch off the wire. I'll put some tension on my bobbin holder here on my thread and that way I can spin this off. Got a couple of stubs right here, these butt ends. We'll take care of those. And you might want to just lick your fingers and you can sometimes get these barbs to marry back together again. Not always, but maybe you can a little bit. Now the recipe does call for a throat hackle. So I'm just taking a clump of these barbs that I stripped off when I was preparing that feather. These came off the bottom. You know, a generous sized clump. I don't know how many this is. It's a good bit, but I want a kind of bushy little throat right here. So I'll catch this in with a, a pinch wrap and then we'll take a look at it. Is that gonna look okay? Yeah, that's pretty pretty fuzzy. Pretty. It's probably a little bit bigger than I usually do for a throat, but you know what, I'm gonna leave it. Now I'll just snip this these butt ends right here. And just try to situate them however you want before you wrap that head. And I must have nicked my thread there. You see that thread, how that is kind of just a mess? Well, we can recover from that. I'm gonna just try to spin this together. And then I'm putting quite a few wraps. You know, it's a streamer and you want a decent sized head. So we might be able to wrap through that broken area. And I think we have. Got a little fuzz right there. Let's see if we can clean that up. Might be able to bury it with some head cement or just a few more thread wraps. Okay, I think that head's gonna be fine. Let's do a quick whip finish. And there you go. Maybe you got a little bit of cleanup. Maybe not even worry about it. Just a drop of head cement and I think we're good. So there you go, a guinea matuka. Now I appreciate you watching. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.